Hi, my name is Ernest, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Ajax Search Pro with the Divi Blogs module for live filtering and live searching. So what you need is uh, obviously the Divi theme and uh, Ajax Search Pro, nothing else. So let's start off by going to the Ajax Search Pro menu and creating a new search. I'm just going to call this Divi. You can configure this however you like it. Uh, I'm going to use uh, products as an example because I don't really have anything on this installation, but it doesn't really matter. You can do whatever you want. I think I'm going to create a filter as well to make it like more realistic. And for that, let's go to the front end search settings right there. General first. And what I recommend to do is set the search settings visible by default if you're going to use them and use the block layout. That's much that works much better with the in these cases. And now let's go to the categories and taxonomy terms and let us choose product categories. And I'm just going to use all of them. Let's preview. Okay, now we have a checkbox layout, which I don't think I'm going to like here. So I'm just going to change it to a uh, so change display mode, click on change display mode and change it to drop down with search when I'm also going to enable this choose any option right there. All right. So now I have like a drop down filter that I'm going to use. Okay, that's basically all of it. Again, you can use anything you want the same as a normal search. So I'm just going to save this. And for example, say this is going to be perfect. We're going to need one more thing from here. And if you watch like the previous videos about Elementor, uh, you probably already know that we're going to go to the search behavior, search Elementor archive and shop page live results and scroll down a tiny bit. And here is this string. This is what we need. I'm just going to copy it right now so I don't forget. And I could just leave this as it is. I think I'm going to do that. And let's go to pages and let's make a new page with Divi. So add new pages, add new page, and I'm going to use Divi Builder, right? And the Divi Builder is going to uh, engage. I'm going to build from scratch because this is just an example. Uh, let's use this. And what I need is a uh, block module, right? That's what we need. And for the source, well, I think I'm going to just use the products. It's going to be better. Uh, let me see. Okay, not like this. <laughs> this is this is not the not the way. So under the design, I'm just going to change this to like a grid. But again, you're probably better than me at this. And uh, okay, uh, now the thing that we copied. Uh, we need to add it into the advanced CSS ID and classes and CSS class. Just copy paste it there. This. All right, let's save this. Oh, and the search. I almost forgot about the search. Okay, I need to go back. Uh, I need a, the search short code. And to get that, you're going to go to Ajax Search Pro. And here is the search short code. Let's copy this. And how can I add a module above this? I never knew how that worked. I guess I'm just going to add it below, right? And just move it. So add new. I don't really want to add new row. I'm just going to, yeah, like that. Okay. And while uh, David doesn't really have like a uh, short code module, we can just use a text, right? It's going to be the same thing. Okay. So, um, all right. Into the editor. I'm just going to paste the short code and that should actually work. Yeah. See the search is right there and let's just move it up here. I should have done it first, but it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Uh, now if I go and save, uh, I'm going to actually publish this and preview. Okay. I never know where the preview is, so I'm just going to go back into the pages. So excuse me that. And OK, no title, but whatever. Let's just go you. Here we go. And if all goes well and I didn't miss anything, if I change the filters. Oh, yeah, it's working. Perfect. So it's that simple. It really is. So as you can see, it does work. So let me try sunglass. There's the sunglass. Choose any. It goes back. Do we have anything here like logo? Yeah, it does work. So see, it's super, super easy. 
you basically have like two steps place the search here place the blog here and you know uh, use that uh, extra CSS class on the blogs module and there you go I really hope this video was helpful uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and also if you don't have Ajax search pro license yet what are you waiting for links in the description below and don't hesitate to contact me I'm more than happy to answer all of your queries uh, link to the contact page in the description below as well. I hope you have a nice day. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.